سألك بما سألك به أهل طاعتك أجمعين. Dirimiz bir Allah'a ve Kadir Allah'a Efendimizin mahalle hususu bu caminin bahisi ve bugüne kadar içerisinde gelmiş geçmiş iman ve zifanların ve kahve ehli imanın ervahı saygı seyf şapkın kerime kubbesi Rabban Hazretleri için Allah rızası için el Fatiha Yavuz billahi mineşşeytanın acim bismillahirrahmanirrahim إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا محمد الله أكبر الله أكبر Allah Ekber, Allah Ekber. Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah. Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah. Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah. Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah. Hayya ala salam Hayya ala salam Hayya ala falam Hayya ala falam Allah ekber Allah ekber La ilaha Elhamdülillah, elhamdülillah, elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin ve salatu ve selamu ala rasulina muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in Nehmetullah ta'ala ve nehsafiru ve şeru an la ilahe illallah vahdehu la şerike lah Neşhedü enne seyyidina muhammedin abduhu ve habibuhu ve resuluhu sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve azvacihi ve ashabihi ve tabi'i khulafe raşidin mahaddin min ba'dihi وزر المتى على تحقيق خصوصا نحن ولا متى خلفاء رسول الله تحقيق أمار المؤمنين حضرة أبو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي ولا باقي صحبة تابين رضوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون يتقوا الله تعالى وتئن الله من الذين تقوا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين all praises are due to Allah, Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah who has created our father Adam alayhi salam from water and clay and has then honored the children of Adam. All praises are due to Allah who has created mankind to know him and to worship him. All praises are due to Allah who has sent the chosen prophet Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi wasalam, as the guide to the straight path. And may all peace and blessings be upon the seal of the prophets, the imam of the messengers, the helper of the ummah, the master of the Arabs and the Ajam, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially up upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman al-Ghani and Hazrat Ali al-Murtaza and all those who follow them until the last day. O believers, welcome to you on this holy day of Juma, on the last Juma of the Islamic year of 1437. Welcome to you as we are about to step through the door of the new year of 1438. New year, according to what? According to man-made calculations, according to the birthday of a king or a president, no. Our new year, the new year of Islam, it is beginning with the month of Muharram.
the sacred month. And our calendar, it is a calendar that is founded upon the commands of Allah as sent to us through the Holy Prophet والسلام, Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Holy Quran Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 months in the record of Allah from the day He created the heavens and the earth. Of these, four are sacred. That is the correct religion. So do not wrong yourselves during them. Sadaqallah al -Azim. And the Holy Prophet is saying in his Hadith Sharif, Time has completed its cycle and has come to the state of the day when Allah created the heavens and the earth. The year consists of 12 months, of which four are sacred. Three of them consecutive, Zul Qaeda, Zul Hijjah, and Muharram, and Rajab. So in Islam, our calendar, the days, the months that we are passing through, they have not changed. They have not been played with. They are the same days as when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth. And in Islam, because of the wisdom of those holy ones who, became, who came before us, Alhamdulillah, we have our own calendar. And this calendar, this Hijri calendar, it was decided upon by the companions after the passing of the Holy Prophet All those who are shouting Bidat, 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 they should keep silent. Because Hazrat Umar al-Faruq, the guardian of the Sunnah, radiallahu an, he is the one who instituted the Hijri calendar. When Hazrat Umar radiallahu an was a Khalifa, the territory of Islam became huge. And there was so much communication happening, so many messages going back and forth, so many funds that had to be accounted for that he said, we need a standard calendar. And so some of the people came and said, we should make a calendar. Like the Persians. Some said, we should make a calendar. Like the Bani Israel. Hazrat Umar radiallahu an and the other high level Sahabis, they agreed to make the calendar be based upon the Hijrah of the Holy Prophet the most significant event in the history of the Ummah one of the most significant events in the history of the world the day that the Holy Prophet entered into Medina the day that his mission became opened the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ended the period of oppression in Mecca and opened the period of the spread of Islam and Hazrat Umar said, we are going to have a lunar calendar and we are not going to allow any playing with the days. Alhamdulillah, we are continuing with that calendar. All the way through the glorious Ottoman Empire, less than 100 years ago, they were continuing that calendar. People were not calculating their days according to Roman kings and pagan idols. They were not saying January, February. They were saying the names of the month as they had been said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As they had been said by the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. As they are in the sight of Allah. Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal, Rabiul Sani, Jumadil Awal, Jumadil Sani, Rajab, Shaban, Ramazan, Shawwal, Zulqaeda and Zulhijjah. Even the names of our months. They have haybat and they have honor. But the Muslims of the Ahir Zaman, they left this haybat and this honor. The Muslims of the Ahir Zaman do not have any haybat or any honor left. And one of the things that they left behind was the calendar. They left behind their identity according to time. They left behind the days and the nights that are honored by Allah. We live in the West. We live in America. And right now they are about to start their holiday season here in America. The time when everybody spends more money than they have. 
the time when all the egos and the desires they go wild and they have to go to the therapist to help them deal with the debt that they are in later and yes in America they have days and nights they are concerned with as well they are going to have Halloween the day that they're going to honor the shaitans mashallah Muslims following that tradition then they have Thanksgiving the day that they tell a national lie about sharing with the Indians when the reality is that they committed genocide against them and that is continuing up till today then they have Christmas a day that has turned into an excuse to drown inside the dunya to drown inside the nafs the day that was not even the day that Isa was born then a few days later is New Year's Day the day to get drunk and to forget everything then Valentine's Day when the nation runs and celebrates Zina and so on and on and on that is what the calendar of the West has to offer that is what the Gregorian calendar has to offer when so-called normal Muslims hear these words that we are saying they are going to say brother you are very extreme you need to relax if you talk like this nobody is going to accept us and that is the disease that has entered into the Muslims living in America they want to be accepted let's put it in real simple words the Muslims in America they are selling out they are selling out because so badly they want to be called Americans they are saying we are just like you yes I can call myself a Muslim but that doesn't mean anything that Muslim doesn't mean anything American is what it means I have the same calendar as you I dress like you I keep my religion to myself private and ashamed like you I eat like you I put my women in dirty magazines like you I hate the Muslims overseas like you please accept me to be one of you and by doing this we lose our identity and we forget what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the eternal words of the Quran when he said Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and never will the Jews or the Christians be pleased with you until you follow their religion say indeed the guidance of Allah is the only guidance if you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge you would have against Allah no protector and no helper and what a sad, sad state of affairs for the Muslims keeping the calendar yes it looks like a small thing but in reality it is a big thing because the Muslims we don't just have a separate identity we have a divine identity the Muslims have always had a separate divine identity in every place that Islam went even if the Muslims were few in number they kept their own divine identity and by keeping that identity they kept their honor and their haybat you keep your own calendar you keep your own food you keep your own dress you keep your way of praying you keep your way of conducting your family affairs and when the Muslims acted like that people admired them and wanted to be like them and when the world was under the control of the Muslims especially under the Ottomans this was the same rights that they gave to every religion and every ethnicity that they conquered you have your own identity we will not impose it on you you have your own calendar we will not impose it on you you have your own way of dressing we will not force it on you you have your own way of sitting and eating and interacting with each other and we will not force it on you you have your identity the way that Allah has created keep it it is beautiful that way but the world runs now on capitalism one world order one currency and one way of spending money one identity one way of eating one way of dressing 
all identities are lost, becoming just tools to be used in this system. But Muslims now are trying their best to be like unbelievers. But we are never going to be the same. And that is the next step that the Muslims, they are going to enter. They are going to say, yes, we want to be just like the Jews and the Christians, so let us leave our faith. Then we will really be like them. Some listening to this are going to say that I'm saying that we hate Jews and we hate Christians. That we are saying not to be Americans. That is the most ignorant interpretation of what we are saying. We are saying that we are Muslims. We are saying that we have our own identity. We are saying that we are going to keep that identity. We are saying that the constitution of this country itself guarantees our own pursuit of happiness and guarantees our right to keep our identities. At the same time we live in this country, we don't want to live in any other country. And this country, it allows everyone to keep their religion and to keep their own identity. Even the Americans forgot the principles that this country was founded upon. A freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of association. So yes, we are Muslims. We are proud to be Muslims. And we are happy to live in a country where we can be Muslims. We are proud to live in a country where the laws still protect the rights of everyone. O oh, believers, our new year is coming. The intelligent man must ask himself, did I become better or did I become worse? It is such a simple question, but it is the most difficult question to answer because to answer that question, a man must be sincere. Because to answer that question, the sincere man will realize just as I cannot look at my own face without a mirror, I must find a mirror to help me look at my face. And those mirrors, they are the friends of Allah. Don't trust your own mirror. If you want to know how we did this year, we must go to a friend of Allah and put our heart in front of his heart. Because the hearts of the friends of Allah, their hearts are mirrors that have been polished and they are clean. When we sit with them, we will see the reality of our state. And by sitting with them, they will teach us the way of cleaning our heart. Alhamdulillah, that we have our Shaykh, Sahib al Sayyid Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kabrisi al Rabbani, who is the representative of Sultan al Awliya, Shaykh Mullana Muhammad Nazim Adil al Haqqani. And Sahib al Sayyid, he is showing us that way of the Shaykhs. He is showing us the Naqshbandi way. He is showing us the Haqqani way. He is showing us the Osmanli way. And we follow him with sincerity, inshallah, Rahman, no doubt we will be in that caravan. This is his advice for us to throw the new year. Listen carefully. Inshallah, Rahman, we are entering. In some more days, we are entering the holy month of Muharram, the new year of the Muslims. Not the new year of the pagans that people were worshipping. The new year of the Muslims. Muharram is coming. We are entering in it. Prepare yourselves for that. As everyone is running to copy saying, what is your new year's resolution? What are you going to do? What is the intention you made that you are going to change this year? Yes, I am going to become more donkey. That's what they do. They are running at midnight in the streets. Yeah. If you are running at midnight in the streets, then you are becoming the nominee to become another donkey for that whole year. No honor. The honor is not in the streets to drink and to lay down in the corners of the streets and not even knowing where your house is. That's not an honor. New Year is coming, yes. Make to your own self saying, Ya Rabbi, I'm making intention to become a better servant to you this year. I am a weak servant, so please help me. Say, help me sincerely and look how fast help is going to reach to you. It's not far. It's very near. May that help reach to us as well through the hands of our Shaykh. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah.